What is up, guys? Gaming's in here, bringing you guys some Critica Chaos Unleashed Part Two um, of my Let's Play series. And we have Gamagori chilling like a boss. Don't know why I clicked the key section, but um, we have Gamagori chilling like a boss with that awesome Zenpakuto. Just kidding. It's just a sword, but we're about to go in and we're about to um, play level five because I did not um, start it. I reached level ten by just playing the levels over again. So, I could just, and I actually found a new tactics to um, beat the guy without regenerating health, so we'll see if that plays out. See? Then I use this. See, I can finish them all in one attack. It's pretty much easy that way. Um, I have to wait for my stuff to regenerate, and then I can go in and um, get them. See, look. Tornado Slasher. And then just use that skill and then just start making combos. Honestly, it's really, um, like, I know this is like a hack and slash, but even though the skills are um, repetitive, it's all about um, how to use them wisely. <laughs> That's what I've sort of figured. That's my strategy. Don't try to copy it. And the thing about, the thing I like about this um, game is. The soundtrack that they have in it, like in um the dungeon in the dun in the um monster dungeon, what I like about that the most is that um it just has that like anime opening so like the anime opening song like soundtrack sort of. What am I trying to say? I'm trying to say that it has that like awesome energetic music every time you're like slashing the goblins and stuff, which that's what I like most about this game. The soundtrack. I mean, just listen to the soundtrack. I mean, it just gets you. It just gets you hyped up. Ah, uh, there we go. And then this will be wave two. Then I also realized that there are also more enemies that come. And I've decided not to use the um, super attack until I get to the boss round because it's sort of it's sort of meaningless. I mean, I know it's cool and all, but all right. Now, this is using a lot of my magic power. Tornado Slasher. And then we have ourselves the boss level. Now, this is where we left off previously on, um, whatever this game's called. Previously on Kritika, Gamagori was faced against the mighty Develine. Little did he know that he there was a special tactic used to try and defeat him. What he had to do was defeat the, um, demon in front of him, which would take forever. Shoot! What is this? You're gone. Now let's get your health down a little bit. Oh, there's a magic circle on him. Let's end this. Are you serious? This barely takes. Oh, that's a waste. Why are you fleeing? Why are you running away? There we go. Didn't even have to use that. Excellent. Victory is ours. Well, let's tap the screen and I gotta be really don't care. Let's see if we can get that helmet though. Yes, we got the helmet. Yes. And we're going to go home and um, upgrade real quick. Um, I just realized that like when I get to level 13, I can do battle modes, which should be multiplayer. 
I'm not sure, but if it is multiplayer, that would be like really awesome. I could dominate. Um, let's see. Oh, I can upgrade my HP. All right. Um, I'm upgrade. Let's upgrade this and then upgrade that. I would never use that a lot. Um, oh, there are so many more skills. All right, let's go back. What do we have in the inventory? Heck yeah, we're gonna equip this. Um, yeah, let's equip that. Let's equip them gloves. And let's equip this. Okay, and there's one more thing. Oh, that's an enhanced necklace. Okay, so it doesn't work. Um, all right, we're gonna go back and the forest of Melis too. Okay. Okay. Hopefully, we'll probably have some more enemies in here. Not sure. Looks like a good day. Uh, there we go. Okay, we have. Okay, I could, I could see the upgrade. Power up. That madman on the battlefield perk is sort of like a transformation for me a little bit. Yep, yeah, that was a bad idea to open you guard. And the finishing blow! Dang. That is what tactics are. You know, I'll probably play as the Cat Acrobat next time, even though she doesn't deal a bunch of damage, she is overpowered, like, she can make so many combo ma combo button mashes and stuff, but then she's so swift with her attacks. Um, this is a new game, so they'll probably have the other classes in, like, probably a month or so, and I just looked at the silhouettes, they just, the silhouettes look cooler, look cool, plus that little one minute trailer when you first create your character. So, if um if new classes do come out, I'll be you know where I where I'm at. If you're new, um be sure to subscribe right now because um, this let's play is gonna be really lengthy because this game just came out. So there's a bunch of stuff that I'm gonna be showing you guys. And the boss battle. Okay, I'm gonna wait for all my stuff to um. Recover so I so I can um go and oh I already used half of my magic power doing that fearless rat huh oh gosh okay let me defeat all these enemies oh shoot okay I can't let my guard down. Okay, so this attack um, knocks it down. And I have to defeat these things so they don't spray acid on me. Okay. This will knock them down. Oh, what? Okay, I was just standing there. Time to end this! And there we go. Them cinematic, them cinematics, though. A plus.
gonna decrease buff. Let's try and get that potion. Uh, ah, dang it. I was thinking it's the one on the left. I was thinking it's the one on the um, yeah, left. Let's go to our next stage. It keeps saying that I have new skills. I will level this up too. I I wonder if that I wonder if you upgrade it, you can max it up. Or nah, nope. Oh well. This is, oh, we already have the skill assigned. So let's move. There's this thing called a striker. It was a level 50 berserker, and I should have saved it. Like every time at the, it's like a badass move. What happens is that at the boss encounter, um, it like jumps right off the gate. It goes like, "I'll handle this," and then it completely defeats the boss for you. It's like an insta win. Well, I could see the att my attack has more damage. Because I'm seeing results. Ugh. This guy had more of a personnel. I really, I really wish that they had more voice acting on this because it would sound like so awesome. Like, like if they had a campaign, like they have sort of a campaign, but not a solid one. I mean, like one with voice actors. Time to take out the trash, or what remains that is. Be gone. That multi kill though. Transformation. Dang that lightning R. Could this be Super Saiyan 2? Maybe not, but sure it does look like it. Oh shoot, I'm at a ma I'm almost at a magic power. Wait, is this the boss? Oh crap, the fearless rat is back. Yep. Oh, this is bad news. I need I need to finish this guy off um or I take on that rat. No! No! It was at this time that Gamagori realized he messed up. Shoot. I knew I knew he was coming. I don't know what direction. Well, that sucks. What do we have? Oops. Oh, we have some of this. <clears throat> um, let's, do, let's get some gold real quick. I should, probably, I should probably rank up after this because this is basically like you can. the more you rank up, the more stuff you get to do. I wonder what level you can get on. Probably like level 100.
two, one. See, just listen to the soundtrack. What I was telling in the, earlier in the video, just listen. I'll turn it up a bit. Dang, just look at all of that. That kill feed, man. Oh, you know what? I gotta go look back at the skills once we're done, cause I heard that you can, um, we gotta upgrade that special attack. Twenty with eighteen seconds left. Can he pull it off? Gamagori has almost broken the record. With ten seconds, can he defeat Kabbalah the Mighty Swordsman? Yes, he can. With a finishing blow in his super attack, he has su ex succeeded. With a hundred and fifty kills. See, that's what I was telling you about the um the soundtrack in the um dungeon hunter thing in the dungeon hunter. It's where he gives you that like awesome anime feel so we're gonna go back with 150 kills man right at the last second too so we're gonna go back and we are going to defeat that fearless wrath once i'm done with him i'll put the fear of god into that rat and there is a movie line well not a movie line but <laughs> my attempt Looks like a good day. All right, let's get rid of this, these um mediocre enemies real quick. Probably, I'll probably be done after this once I'm, um, cause I've been, I think I've been recording for like 10 minutes, I think. Since we're in like the last episode, since we're like in the last um, level of this episode, let me um, use this most of the time. Oh, they're already gone.
Don't know why I put that in the wrong direction. Uh, why now a notification? Uh, you less. You excuse me. Don't know why I'm sneezing so much. Oh, the boss. Oh, wow, the boss round is right there. Let's try and clutch this without using special attack. Okay, so there's one of these things. I think they're called a Kuyan, so. There's one of the Kuyans in the boss encounter, so. First thing we'll have to do is take that down, along with the other, other enemies with it, and then we'll be able to um, get the rat. Okay, he's done. Wait, okay, all of our stuff's recharged. Okay, so first we have to avoid the fearless rat, but in the process we need to take a bunch of his health down. So let's get about let's get about like 50% health. Shoot! 300% left. This isn't good. Okay, wait for him. Wait for him to make his move. Okay. There we go. Please, 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 please. Dang it. Shoot, 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 shoot. Okay. Wait for him to make his attack. No! Wait, how did he even get me? Shoot, um... Can we purchase a buff? Hold on, we're, we're gonna end this on a good note, guys. <sighs> so, let's go to our inventory, see what we actually got. Oh, I still have some of this. Let's actually equip some of this. We have to equip some of this. Dark Fog Valley. Yeah, nope. This is the last level, but we're going to end this episode on a good note. So, if it's going to be probably longer than part one. I really don't care. Go. This reminds me a bit of Dungeon Under Four, but Dungeon Under Four just had that it was a little weird. Like it was an awesome hack and slash, but it's just like the way it was made. It didn't have a 3D view. It it was almost as if you were looking in a book, which they sort of had that concept from the start. So why am I why am I here? I also wanted I also wanted to talk about um chapter three ninety three of Fairy Tale. I just read that the other day. I'm not I'm not like I'm not like into um I'm into doing anime reviews, but not like anime chapters because it's sort of not a lot to talk about. Mostly because all you need is just a few words and it's only like twenty pages, so it's not a lot to um explain twenty pages. But I had the feels. Gray realized that his father wasn't Delior, which was probably in the last chapter. Keith was explaining. Keith, the little skull guy that looks like Jack's, um, what's his name? Jack Skeleton? Um, he was explaining to Juvia how Silver was, ironically, he said he was a demon, but actually he was a corpse, a living corpse created to kill other demons. He joined the guild that killed demons. Um, and Keith is a necromancer, meaning he can bring corpses and revive them. 
So um, Gray re realized that, and Gray's dad, Silver, wanted him to deliver the final blow, and Gray was just crying. Like I, I was almost, I was almost about to cry. Going like, is this really about to happen? And like, he's literally about to see his dad die, and then, and then they, they were hugging and crying and all that stuff. Man, it was just, if you read that chapter, I don't care who you are, you would feel emotionally um, moved. <laughs> like, crying or not, you would feel emotionally moved. Like, he, he didn't have a good relationship with his dad. He had daddy issues, yes. But, it's just, he had a, just the feels. Had more feels than Attack on Titan. Which, Attack on Titan had most of the, like, had the most feels the entire time, because everybody was either traumatized or depressed. Or we're either um, going crazy, <clears throat> Aaron. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, let's end this so we can go to the boss. Am I that low on HP already? This is bullcrap. Okay, we have 20 seconds till that reloads. Why won't you people die? It's like an endless cycle. Five, four. Three, two. Okay, let's take care of these guys. No. Dang it. Come on, 10 seconds. Can I stall them off? Oh, basically all I have to do is defeat that fearless rat. No! No! Ugh. You know what? I'm done. Be sure to comment, subscribe, hit that like button like I stole something. I'm just done. I'm about to beat this level, and you will not see this in the next playthrough. Sorry about that, guys, but... Rage quit. Tune me again, see you, and don't forget to follow me on Twitter.